I call the meeting to order of the Public Utilities Commission, June 24th, 2014. Our first item of business is to welcome and swear in our newest commissioner, Sean Fingland. Uh, our city attorney will please uh, assist with that. Please stand and raise your right hand. Repeat after me. I, Sean G. Fingland. I, Sean G. Fingland. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support the Constitution. That I will support the Constitution. Of the United States. Of the United States. And of the state of Minnesota. And of the state of Minnesota. And faithfully and impartially. And faithfully and impartially. Discharge the duties. Discharge the duties. Of the Office of Commissioner. Of the Office of Commissioner. Of the Public Utilities Commission. Of the Public Utilities Commission. Said City of New Ulm. Said City of New Ulm. In the County of Brown and State of Minnesota. In the County of Brown and the State of Minnesota. To the best of my judgment and ability. To the best of my judgment and ability. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you. And welcome Commissioner Finglin. Thank you. Next item, we will uh, consider approving the minutes of the regular meeting of May 27th, 2014. Move to approve the minutes of the regular meeting of the Public Utilities Commission held on May 27th, 2014. Second. Well, we have a motion and second to approve the minutes from the May 27th Public Utilities Commission meeting. Is there any further discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, next, we will hear from the city manager regarding utility operations for the month of June. Mr. President and commissioners, you'll notice that uh, a bulk of the uh, report uh, for this month deals with normal construction and maintenance that you typically see in a, in a busy summer. We've, we've started that process, and uh, uh, most of the descriptive uh, actions relate to those particular <coughs> activities. Uh, outside of that, we did have one uh, appeal uh, filed uh, to the uh, appeal committee for utility bill, and it was uh, regarding natural gas consumption at a residential property. It goes into great depth in the, in the report as to uh, what that was all about. But the short, uh, I think, story is that a meter was sealed, locked, closed, uh, sometime in an 18 month period the lock was cut off and the gas was turned back on uh, unbeknownst to either the PUC or uh, the uh, bank at the time who had possession some gas was used uh, about half the gas they were not charged for and the uh, <clears throat> from the point where they took uh, you know literal ownership that we can had meter readings they were charged for that so they roughly got charged for half of the cost of uh, the gas that they used uh, <clears throat> the PC regulations are very clear on that unless there's an error in the computation of the bill unless there's an error in the meter uh, it's it's a, a, a bill that's payable and do you know to the PUC uh, if it was a city uh, Maybe the multiplier was off on the meter or something. It was our, you know, fault. Then, then the uh, appeals committee can adjust it. Uh, but other than that, it's if there's no errors in anything and gas was used, uh, the decision ultimately was that uh, that the owner would uh, pay the utility bill. They actually did pay the utility bill, so it wasn't like you know the, the money wasn't there. They were just uh, hoping to appeal and, and get the money back. So. Based on our, our or, uh, ordinance and, and our rules, we were unable to uh, meet their uh, request at getting a reimbursement. The other item I just would uh, point out uh, for you would be the section on uh, contracts. If I can get to it real fast. It's right ahead of the uh, financial stuff in the report. That is probably the best uh, yeah, it's actually found in uh, you know, Water and District Energy. But <clears throat> all of the different projects that we have there really identifies the activities that are going on 
uh, it's found under the engineering administration aspect of the, the report. And I, uh, I find that to be the best part, to be quite honest, of all the, the different projects because they're all of the reports because these are the, the big projects. It lists when they were started, when they're supposed to be completed, and, and what's going on. Uh, you will note that a few of the projects uh, due to weather, specifically due to rain, uh, are delayed. Uh, you know, the painting of the Nails Park water tower, uh, uh, based on the meeting this morning, is approximately two weeks behind schedule. You know, and just, it's, that section I think is very useful because it's identified as specific projects. It's not generalities. We fix woodpecker holes, you know. This is high cost items that uh, gives you an opportunity to see where we are in the process. So I always find that to be uh, most uh, most interesting. Uh, there is a financial performance section, and one of the I think more interesting things that uh, just point out for everybody and those that uh, you know can see this or you know can get this information uh, off the website. You notice that the uh, average monthly bill uh, runs around 182 dollars uh, for the the month of May. So. Uh, we, we started, cre we created this uh, three year, basically, or is it two years? One, two. Uh, two year time frame so that if you feel that you are out, your bill is super high, you have the ability to look and see what the average bill was and say, well, yeah, I guess it's not so bad. You know, you can something to compare to. Uh, and so uh, you'll notice it went from. Three hundred seventy-eight dollars in in March down to one hundred eighty-two in May. So we're in the the warm season here, and I'm sure that uh, utility bills will creep up a little again, bit again when we get into air conditioning season. Uh, so with that, uh, okay. I <clears throat> would additionally like to uh, recognize Nick Price as the uh, PUC Employee of the Month. Nick serves in the position of uh, helper in the water steam department and has been employed by the PUC since August of 2013. Congratulations to Nick. <coughs> Mr. President, I'd offer a motion to receive and file the report regarding utility operations during the month of June 2014. I'll second the motion. Okay, motion and second to receive and file the Report regarding utility operations for June 2014. Any further discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Item 3A will consider authorizing change order number two, increasing the contract amount by $7,869.96 for the balance of plant construction of the back pressure steam turbine project with Brennan Construction. Mr. Yeah. President, Martin Mechanical uh, Engineering mm -hmm. Consultant is, has uh, recommended approval of change order number two. You will notice that change order number one plus number two equals about you know, an $8,000 uh, you know, change order uh, for this particular project. Uh, actually pretty, pretty good to be that low. I'd offer the motion to authorize change order number two, increasing the contract by $7,869.96 for the balance of plant construction for back pressure steam turbine project with Brennan Construction. Second. Okay, motion and second for authorizing change order number two on the back pressure steam turbine project. Is there any further discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Item 3B, receive the comprehensive annual financial report for the New Orleans Public Utilities Commission for fiscal year ended December 31st, 2013. Move to receive the comprehensive annual financial report for the New Orleans Public Utilities Commission for the fiscal year ended December 31st, 2013. Second. Okay. We have motion and second to receive the uh, annual financial report. Is there any discussion? All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. 
Item 3C, consider authorizing signature on a lease agreement between the City of New Ulm Public Utilities Commission and Midwest Wireless Communications uh, doing business as Verizon Wireless to lease a portion of the utility property for the placement of communication antennas subject to engineering review. Yeah, I think the uh, the short story on this uh, is that uh, Chris Manerfield has done a wonderful job on picking up the efforts on putting the uh, antenna leases together. Uh, it was kind of like in a in mid midstream, and uh, she's done a very good job working with the city attorney's office to meet the uh, uh, needs of having an agreement and and allowing uh, the antennas onto the I believe it's the airport airport water tower uh, after the uh, repainting and cleaning up is, is finished. As you know, uh, they'll be putting 12 antennas. Uh, it's going to be a revenue stream of roughly $34,000 uh, for the city and uh, Nolan PUC. And uh, I don't envision, uh, I think we were talking, you know, 15 plus 20 years before, you know, that water tower might have met its useful life. So we should be, I think, pretty well set as far as antennas on there. Who knows what's going to happen in the future? Maybe there'll be other requests, but for now, this is uh, this is the current one, and I would recommend that uh, you authorize uh, signature. Okay. Mr. President, I would uh, offer a motion authorizing signature on the lease agreement between the City of New Ulm Public Utilities Commission and Midwest Wireless Communications, LLC, doing business as Verizon Wireless, to lease a portion of utility property for the placement of communication antennas subject to engineering review. Seconded. Okay, we have a motion and second as stated to authorize signature on the lease agreement between the City of New Ulm and Midwest Wireless Communications Verizon Wireless for the uh, purpose of placing a communications antenna. Uh, is there any further discussion? Just, uh, I, yeah. I would just point out that the reason we uh, said subject to engineers is we didn't have the, the plans and specs at the time so before they get constructed and they're probably attached to the we've got the paper copy now so we should we should be okay the only question I had on the lease number comparable to what we get now through other folks yeah it is it's, it's a little bit more okay currently all right more is good yep. <laughs> <laughs> thank you okay any any other discussion on the motion Okay. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Item 3D, consider declaring a vehicle in the gas department and a desk in the electric distribution department as surplus property and authorize disposition pursuant to the city code and charter. I move to declare the vehicle in the gas department and a desk in the electric distribution department as surplus property and authorized disposition pursuant to the requirements of the city code and charter. Second. Okay, motion and second, declaring the uh, gas department vehicle and electric distribution desk as surplus property, uh, authorizing disposition pursuant to requirements of city code and charter. Is there any further discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Item 4A, we will consider acceptance of a list of claims paid. Move to uh, accept <coughs> claims paid in the amount of $2,347,137.14. I second. Motion and second to, uh, to accept list of claims paid uh, to repeat, in the amount of two million three hundred and forty-seven thousand one hundred and thirty-seven dollars and fourteen cents. Any further discussion? All in favor, signify by <coughs> saying aye. 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 Opposed. Motion carries. Last item on the agenda is to consider the acceptance of a list of claims to be paid. Mr. President, I'd offer a motion to accept claims to be paid in the amount of three hundred seventy-seven thousand five hundred eighty-five dollars and sixteen cents. Second. Okay. Motion and second to 
accept claims to be paid <coughs> in the amount of $377,585.16. Is there any further discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Is there any further comments or questions from commissioners or otherwise? Hearing none, meeting is adjourned. Thank you.